USGS funding agreement for the Highway 122 stream gauge. Mr. Ty. Good morning. <clears throat> this is the uh, agreement that we've brought before you for the last, um, I believe, eight years now. Um, after the 2009 floods, we worked with USGS to have a stream gauge installed on the um, bridge over the Little River on Highway 122, just west of Hayhira. Uh, it's been in operation um, since that time. And so this agreement is just uh, represents the funding agreement that allows USGS to uh, maintain it if they're, you know, the pay all the operating costs, electricity, um, that kind of thing. And then if there are any issues with it, then they, they uh, take care of the repairs and the maintenance that are necessary to make sure that we have access to that information. So um, every year the, the cost does go up a few hundred dollars as salaries and that kind of stuff goes up. But this is it's pretty much stayed um, stayed pretty close to the same. So if you have any questions about the agreement, I'd be glad to answer them. Mr. Ty, would it be fair to say that this gauge uh, on Highway 122 has, has proven to be very, very useful for the citizens of Lowndes County as far as helping uh, identify areas of early flooding? I, I, would, I would say that. Okay, one of the reasons we picked that particular location is uh, prior to having that gauge, there was no gauge in Lowndes County on the Little River. Um, the only gauge we had to go by was at Reed Bingham, which a lot can happen between there. So we were actually getting our flooding forecast information on the Little River from the with Lacucci gauge, which one does not correl necessarily correlate to the other. So um, since we've had that and the Weather Service has been able to build that historical data, um, we've actually moved from the point of having nothing to the point of now they can actually issue forecasts when we're expecting flooding and issue flood warnings specific for the Little River, which provides those citizens along that area with um, a lot more accurate information to make the decisions they need to. So it has been very beneficial for In which the Little River is uh, about half of our western boundary of Lowndes County. Yes, Lowndes. sir. Any questions? Thank you, Mr. Tyler. 